Problems in life seem to come in one of two forms. The first case is a problem where everything that you need to know in order to solve the problem is right there in front of you. These types of problems can be solved easily if you know the correct algorithm. What I mean by this is that there's a series of steps that you can take in order to get to the solution. Even if the algorithm is really complicated, it will still always work once you know how to repeat it. The second type of problem might at first seem more difficult, or even impossible. This type of problem requires additional information before you can determine the solution's algorithm. There's a trick to getting this ring off. I'll let you figure it out as I show you how I made this. I'm starting out by making two parts like this, which are just 68 millimeter circles. This smaller circle has a diameter of 48 millimeters, and it'll be used to determine where the centers of the posts are. I want to space my three posts out evenly around the circle. The easiest way to do this is to just use a compass to divide the circle into six even parts. My goal here is to be extremely precise, so I marked where the holes are going to be drilled for the posts with this needle tool, which is just a piece of sharpened coat hanger. Here you can see that the stock is quite a bit thicker than this disc. I want the disc to have a final thickness of about 5 eighths of an inch, so this needs to be planed down somehow. These three outside holes for the post can be drilled as deep as possible, within reason, just so that that little point on the drill bit doesn't come through the other side. The two center holes are special, so if you were suspicious of that center post, you guessed right. One of the two center holes has to be drilled as deep as possible. I'm after a hole that leaves a little more than a sixteenth remaining, and I want the hole to have a flat bottom. To do this, I sharpened a piece of the quarter inch rod that I'm using for the posts into kind of a drill bit. So first I drilled the bulk of the hole out with the Forstner bit. Then I used the specialty bit to kind of just scrape the bottom of the hole clean. The depth that we drill the second center hole is determined by this magnet. The magnet can be epoxied in now at any time. And we want it set in so that it's sunk in about an eighth of an inch. In the interest of keeping this reasonably short, I'll skip the details to the finishing process, except to say that I used a spray-on lacquer. After you've applied enough layers of the spray lacquer, you can sand the finish down flat, and then keep sanding it with increasingly fine grades of sandpaper, until finally you buff the finish and it gives it this nice shine. The next step is to cut these quarter-inch steel posts. Their height is 
pretty much predetermined because we want the puzzle to be about as wide as it is tall. This height seems to be a good size for the puzzle because the ring can almost stand up but not quite. And just in case you're actually interested in building one of these projects, here's everything that you'll need to find this part. Now it's time to figure out the length of this center post, so I'm dry fitting it all together. When the center post is seated all the way down away from the magnet like this, we want this gap right here to be about 5 sixteenths of an inch. That distance is just wide enough for the ring to slip over the top of the post. Now I'm just about ready to put it all together. I expect there to be some squeeze out from the epoxy, so I'm applying some car wax in the hopes that it'll create kind of a barrier that'll help keep the epoxy from bonding to the finished wood. In order to ensure that I get the strongest possible bond, I put a few superficial hacksaw cuts on the tops and bottoms of these posts. I'm only doing one half at a time just so that I don't have to rush. But at this point, it's fairly easy to remove any squeeze out with a rag that has some car wax on it. Okay, so let's see this trick actually work. It takes just a little bit of a tug. Well, I really appreciate you watching this, and I hope you found it interesting. And let me know in the comments just exactly when it was that you figured out how this worked. Thanks again.